All right, I'm over here at Bad Robot in Santa Monica with J.J. Abrams and uh, Donald Mustard from Chair. Uh, Spy Jinx is the name of an exciting new project you guys are working on together. Uh, J.J., we're, we're so excited about Star Wars, but now gamers can get even more excited because you guys are, are getting your hands dirty with a brand new project with Chair. Um, we know that you've been a fan of games. Uh, uh, in the past, you play games. Why did you want to get involved with Chair and build your own game? I'm such a fan of what Chair has has made and and the games that that they've allowed me and my kids to play. But I remember the first time I played Infinity Blade, and it was just it blew my mind what what you guys had done with the Epic Unreal Engine on on that device. But I I feel like uh, it's a natural progression from what we've been doing um, as a gamer. And Dave Baranoff, who runs the interactive division at Bad Robot, as a gamer. We really wanted to expand into this area of entertainment, and typically Hollywood and games have not gone together well. There are some notable exceptions, but but not too many. And so we met these amazing people at Chair, and not just as fans, but potential collaborators. And what was so cool was that this didn't begin in a kind of like, we have an IP we want to force into a game, or they didn't come to us saying, we have a game we want to make into a TV show. This was like, what would be really cool to work on together that would take the strengths from both what Bad Robot's done and what Chair's done and make something even better. But we're learning so much from you guys. And and the other way around, I mean, at Chair, we've just been huge fans of Bad Robot and JJ for, for years. I mean, they're uniquely talented in making you deeply care about uh, people and the things and the trials that they're going through. And we thought if there was any way to kind of take that knowledge out of their heads and bring that into game systems and kind of figure out ways, how can we make people truly uh, care about a world that we can build for them and then give them tools to exercise agency in that world? It would be something uh, very unique and that I have, haven't at least seen before in a game. Well, so you, you've teased us sort of uh, with a name. Uh, I know we can't share a lot about the game, but what can you, I mean, what is Spy Jinx? What is the genre? What kind of game are we going to get? So Spy Jinx is a unique blend between kind of like an action strategy game mixed with really dynamic world building with a healthy dose of RPG character development. It really will need to be experienced. And then I think it will become it will be defined by what it is, yeah. as opposed to necessarily saying it's just like that one or it's exactly like that. Yeah. It's not quite like anything. So Donald, how does this actually work with you guys co-developing with Bad Robot? One of the first things we said was, well, we need to be able to do lots of video conferencing. Then we were sharing code back and forth across the networks. And, and now it's to the point where, you know, if I check in a file into the game, uh, people here that are working on the music or the sound or something else are instantly getting that check in. And, working on the stuff they're doing and putting it back in the game. And we've just got this super integrated flow. It's been incredible fun to get to, whether in person or video conferencing, of course, tons of email, like being able to, to work with these people who are teaching us so much about how games work. And I know players are going to sort of be a part of this development process. There's going to be a beta. So part of what's exciting is that players will help sort of shape it as well in real time. The beauty of doing a beta is being able to see, you know, hands-on what the experience is. How are people relating to you know the interface. What are people doing with their characters? It's like every player is in the brainstorming session with us yeah. as they're experiencing it. And which is such an exciting thing because one of our primary goals in developing Spy Jinx is to make really complicated systems seem very simple so that players have rule sets and tools that we can then give to them and let them shape and play in their own dynamic world. And the beta is a huge part of that is seeing what they do with all these fun kind of tools we've given them. And then we can, in turn, kind of shape the world and the future story around how people are actually playing the game. Uh, well, we know 2016, we're going to get to hear more about this, Donald. Uh, tell us, it's coming out for phones and also for computers as well, right? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the great things about uh, Unreal Engine technology is that it's very, very versatile. And we wanted this game to be uh, able to be played by as many people as possible, wherever they are and on whatever device they happen to like to play games on in the world. And so it'll be available for PCs, for tablets, for mobile, and uh, eventually, hopefully everywhere that you enjoy games. The early discussions of this thing were very ambitious. And to see what it's actually becoming and knowing the trajectory that it's on and with the help of, of the beta community, what it will be is really thrilling. And it, if it ends up being what I think, what we think it is, um, I'm definitely gonna be playing this game 
far too much. All right. Well, it's great to hear about it, and we look forward to hearing more about Spy Jinx. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.